James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 24, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Earth's electromagnetic shield. It's been hit earlier today and continues to be hit. Looks like it was hit pretty hard from about 10 UTC time to about 12 30 UTC time here as you can see it dwindling the highest spikes look like they exceeded around 300 Hertz when we see this we usually see Schumann resonance spiking let's see what happened and let's explain it all right let's take a really close look at this we have the Schumann resonance going off the hook until around 1230 UTC time that's going to be important as we go on with this report and then we see additional spikes after around 1600 UTC time up until present time now the strongest spikes were in between around 9 UTC time and about 1230 UTC time and they were off the charts off the charts here is 105 hertz or higher you can see up top in the pink how hard the geophones were hit this was a large schumann resonance spike and it's been spiking for some time we're going to find out exactly why it spiked at this moment and what the agitator was in a few moments it looks like we had had a few days about 48 hours of quiet after having a busy day on the 21st. Now, what changed over those two days? Well, the atmospheric cavity actually expanded to protect us from the solar winds and plasma. Our magnetus meter was in the positive by far over that 48 hour period. With that said, when we look at our magnetometer today, we're going to find out that it's gone negative during just these periods and when it does go positive the Schumann resonance stopped spiking we see Schumann activity almost all day starting at around 2 UTC time going through about 1230 UTC time we've also seen intermittent spikes that are off this chart this chart ending at 50 Hertz after about 2 UTC time ongoing to present time around 1700 UTC time so remember that pattern all right these are the geophones you can see that they've been hit over numerous hours and they actually stop at 1500 UTC time up here which leaves us without two hours of information again this is going to be very important for anyone that wants to really know what's going on here with the schumann residence and why it never spiked over 37 hertz until 2017 and why it spiked up to 100 hertz in 2019 and why it spiked even higher over 200 hertz most recently and may continue to increase in amplitude these are the amplitudes we can all see that these amplitudes started right about 1 UTC time and then spiked significantly right around 2 UTC time, ending at about 4. Then we have spiking through 5 UTC time, 6 and 7. We have a lull, but it's still active. You can tell by our second SR frequency there, still dipped. Now we have substantial spiking starting at around 9 UTC time and going through about 1230 UTC time and then picking up right at 3 UTC time although the spikes are not as significant as what we saw from about 9 to about 1230. Now remember those times. This is going to be very important for what we're going to learn or try to teach anyone that will listen cern's lhc is actually down it was leaking leak on itl8 localized 
Repairs will start on Tuesday. Tomorrow, they do have a meeting coming up on the 26th in two days. No space weather all day long. As we can see here, KP indexes of 2.33 are the maximum. So no solar winds or plasma is currently hitting the planet. What could be causing these Schumann resonance spikes and why are they so high? There's really only one other agitator that we look at. So let's take a look at that one. And what do you know? Lightning and thunderstorms have been over our modeling station all day. This looks like seeding here in brown. You can see the lightning activity around the station that's actually located right about where my cursor is here. See if we can get, there it is right there. And if I was able to show you the entire day, these thunderstorms passed over during that time period. That is your agitator. That's not why the Schumann resonance spiked up. Because remember, we've always had lightning. HARP's been in operation since the 80s. It's old technology that's been sold to the University of Alaska. Much newer technology now exists for any type of manipulation they wish to inflict on Earth and Earth's population. So this is going to be, in fact, the agitator, these thunderstorms that blew over the modeling station that had a lot of associated thunder and lightning, as you can see. So what caused all those spikes? Well, we see our magnetometers have been in the negative and when did they barely go positive at 12 30 they were moving positive into that time period they went just to the zero at 12 30 when the schumann stopped and then jetted back down to allow more schumann activity a collapsing magnetosphere cavity here as you can see it actually fits 100 percent with what you see as far as Schumann resonance activity lots of people want to bury their head in the sand and not take a look at the actual cause of these Schumann resonance spikes it's our depleting atmosphere and the cavity collapsing along with any agitators bouncing off what we call the D region absorption, whereas they used to go right through the D region and bounce off the F or higher regions in our atmosphere. These much lower bounces off the D region are causing these spikes, and they've been getting stronger since 2017 because our atmosphere has been getting weaker. This is probably due to the magnetic pole flip that we're experiencing currently. Of course, we hope our shields don't weaken anymore, but I'm assuming they're going to as the Schumann resonance spikes higher. Well, the shields actually collapse more and more, and the reaction or agitator is bouncing off the D region absorption. Again, I found many scientific papers after I did figure out what was going on. You can see the large uh, spike during this time period here. And then as you go into the 12, 12, 30 time period, as our magnetosphere recovers, it stops the Schumann resonance spiking. After that, our magnetosphere collapses again into the negative and we see additional spiking. I think anyone with eyes that can see would admit this is the case. I know a lot of people believe that these are some sort of light down codes. I do believe in ascension. I believe it to be a personal spiritual situation. And I do believe that these heavy Schumann resonance spikes do affect humankind. They cause incredibly higher vibration and frequency than we're used to. With that said, this is probably being caused, and it seems to work out every single time, by Earth's magnetosphere and the cavity thereof collapsing at certain points. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. I hope you watched it all the way through. 
Please remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World.